So the Android 12 L update is out for the Galaxy Tab S8 series and that brings a couple of new features. First one is the new taskbar, much like what you've seen in Windows 11. It has really made a difference. So whatever icons you have on the dock on the home screen smoothly wraps itself into these taskbar icons. The biggest benefit is the speed with which you can jump from one app to the other. It's at a whole another level now. It's so quick and snappy, super stuff. Now let's say that you want to open an app that's not on the taskbar. You can just click on this icon on the left and it'll give you access to all the apps in one giant window and you have the ability to search within all of these apps as well. And by using the app icons in the taskbar, it's also become more easy to create split screen setups. You just drag the icon to any edge and it would start up a split screen mode. I also feel it's a lot smoother, more flawless and really buttery. And by the way, if you don't want to use this taskbar feature, you could go into your display settings and you can just turn this off from here. Oh, and you can initiate the split screen mode using the recent app screen as well. Just hold and drag the app window to one of the edges and you're done. Next, they've also introduced a gesture that allows you to quickly jump into split screen. So you just slide with two fingers from one of the edges and you will get the option to choose the other app for the split screen mode. They've added another gesture that allows you to just drag an open app from one of the top corners and resize it to a pop-up. And whatever size you leave it at, it remembers that pop-up size for that app. So the next time you just drag an app from, let's say the taskbar, it will open up in the exact same size that you left it last time. And you can trigger this pop-up app window another obvious way, which is to go into your recent apps touch, hold and drag the app to the center of the tablet screen and just release. The app would again open up as a pop-up in that exact same size. But you know, both of these gestures are turned off by default. So if you go into settings, advanced features and then into labs, you'll see these two options. Yeah, you're going to have to turn them on and you can just go like into them and it'll tell you how to use them if in case you have any issues activating it. Next. If you use two apps or three apps together in split screen mode, you can now save that combination and pin it to the taskbar or to the home screen. So once you do that, it simply gets added to the dock, which of course then shows up in the taskbar mode as well. And no matter what app you are in, you can just click on it and it would open up that combination for you really easy. And the same thing goes for app trios. So let's say I'm on YouTube Music. I swipe from the left, open up another app as an example, and then I pull up the calendar from the taskbar and create an app trio. Now, if this is a combination that you will use often, you can just save it as a preset onto the taskbar or to the home screen. So I'm just gonna close it from recent apps and I'm just gonna tap on this app combination and there you go. There's also a significant change in file search. So now I have the capability to search within a folder. Let's say I'm three folders deep and then I choose to search within the current folder only. That narrows down and speeds up my search. And I can now search within the content as well. So let's say I'm searching for the word project. Sure, I get results of file names that contain that word, but I also see photos or PDFs or presentations that contain the word project within the file itself. And that I think is really cool. And lastly, did you know that you could set up your own photos as lock screen images? And it kind of cycles each time you lock and unlock. So it's pretty cool. Now this has existed, but if you want to know how to do it, let me walk you through it. Go into your settings and then look for wallpapers. And when you do that, click on my gallery or just gallery and then choose the pictures that you wish to, you know, cycle through when you lock and unlock your device. That's pretty much it. Now, every time you lock and unlock, it's going to cycle through these pictures only and you can just add more pictures over here. But what's changed is that you can now go back and remove these photos and add new photos, which you couldn't do earlier. Earlier, it would just reset and you'll have to choose all the photos again. But with the update, you get the option to edit the collection. All right, that's pretty much it guys about this Android 12 L update on the Tab S8. Now, there could be more under the hood changes that I have not talked about, but I wanted to touch upon those that I felt were more useful or more upfront than the rest. Anyway, that's pretty much it guys. If you have any questions, 
feel free to drop them in the comment section. And as always, if you did enjoy watching the video, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel and hit that bell notification icon and mark all. I'll see you guys in the next one.